Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to take you through all of the groceries that we bought for the month of January and beyond. I'm doing a little bit of stock up here and there, so this will not all be consumed in January. These are things that will, some of them will last us for several months. So we did Costco and um, Restaurant Depot, so I'm going to show you both of those hauls. Also, I wanted to let you know that I'm continuing to do the giveaway every video for the month of January there will be some kind of video and today's video is from a really neat um, again it's another just individually owned little website called treehouseschoolhouse.com and she has um, offered to give away a $20 gift certificate to her online shop these are digital resources um, they do have she does have some homeschooling resources and homeschooling um, planner, that customizable planner, but there's also resources that will just be great for parents in general that have nothing to do with homeschooling like chore charts or scripture sets. Um, I, I even saw like um, a, a wheel to help kids with their feelings to help them to learn how to calm down or identify their feelings. So all of these things are available on her shop. She does have free downloads there as well so be sure to check her out. It's treehouseschoolhouse.com and she's on Instagram as well. I will put all of those links in the description box so that you can click around and go check her out. This month I'm just wanting to support some other um, shops, many of them by homeschool mamas like me who are just also offering their resources and then some of them from other companies as well. So it's just kind of a fun way to start out the new year. So if you are not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that and click that notification bell so that you don't miss any videos because every video will have a giveaway this month and maybe into February because I keep getting more people jumping on board. And also the giveaways are just open for one week. Okay, and then um, I will be emailing the winners or not emailing the winners. I don't have your email yet. I will be choosing a winner putting it in the comments, it will be, um, we're doing a random number selection from the comments. So that's how, sorry, I, I shopped at Restaurant Depot all morning, so my mind is like, boo, 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 boo. Um, yeah, so leave a comment if you do want to enter this giveaway. <laughs> Important information I left out there. Leave a comment saying I would like to win, and then we do a random selection from the comments, and I'm... Um, I will be then commenting on your comment to let you know that you won. And then I will probably, um, at the end of this week, I will do a little blurb of just the winners so far so that just in case you missed your, you know, your comment response that you won, then you can hear it there as well. So we'll get to you. We'll find you out so that you can win. Um, I have some fun things coming up this week, later this week, so I'm excited to share that with you. Okay, so without any further ado, we are a family of 10. We, um, we do have a lot of food already in stock. We have our own dairy cow, and so we get milk from her. Um, we have venison in our freezer. We have some beef left in our freezer. We have chickens, um, although, like, like you'll see in my videos, I'll talk to you about this a little bit from Costco. Um, it, you know, it's winter, and we just, a lot of our chickens are young right now, and so we're not getting a lot of eggs from them. Um, and then, um, a girlfriend of mine gave me an entire case of apples. That was pretty sweet. Now let me take you back first to the Costco trip that I did last week and then I'll show you the Restaurant Depot trip that we did today. Okay, so one thing that I did this trip was I was wanting to stock up on some items, some pantry items, so you will see that here. Also, toilet paper at Costco is still one per family, <laughs> which would be fine if you were an average size family, but um, one package for a family of 10 who's home all the time. It doesn't, it's not really like a stock up thing. So I may send Jason back on another day to get another toilet paper so that we can actually have some in our storage instead of just what we're using right now. Okay, so we have the toilet paper back there. It's 30 rolls. And then I've got a box of tissues. We haven't had to buy those in a very long time, but you know, it's that time of year. So I've got those. Um, also, the, lest I forget, way over here is two containers of two dog food. Two packages of bags. dog food. And I don't think I told you my total, too. It was $696 was my total for all of this. Okay. So, let's see here. I have two sugars. Again, I'm just stocking up on some staples. So, I got two sugars. I got four of their honeys. These honeys are $9 for five pound. 
Um, I have three cheeses and mozzarella. This will all just be used. It's not, that's not a stock up thing. We will definitely go through that much. I got just one container of apples um, to hold this over. I'm going to be getting some produce also from Restaurant Depot. Then as far as dairy, I have one tub of Greek yogurt. I actually will only use this to make my own yogurt. So I just use it as the starter to get it going. And then I have just one sour cream. We already had some, so I just got one and one cream cheese. $7.98. Okay, you're going to find some prices for me. That's great. These maple syrups, they were only nine something for each one of these one liters, which is... A lower so. price than I'm used to, and so I got three of those to put in storage. Maple syrup was ten dollars. This was on instant rebate, and then the peanut butters are nine dollars a piece for each two $10. pack. Ten dollars, okay. So I got four of those. All right, we also have four of the almond butters. I think these were just under seven dollars. Six fifty-nine. There you go. Bella's looking at all the prices here. You gonna show your face, Bella? Or you're just gonna hide behind me. Um, <laughs> There she is. There she is, looking at the receipt. Okay, and Elsie's the lovely pointer back there. Okay, we we bought eggs. Five dozen of the eggs. Like I said, I would prefer to just eat our eggs, but right now that's helping hold us over. And then this basmati rice, I actually had one of these already, but I decided just to get a second one while I was there to put into our dry storage. That's what that is for. I only got one bag of the sprouted rolled oats, and that is because I like to buy that in bulk from Azure Standard, which I will be placing that order next week. We will be getting oats from them and also um, wheat berries to grind. The rice was $16. The rice was $16. Um, the flour was. I'll show you that whole haul as well. And then I have one of these gluten free flour blends. Um, mostly, see Bella is my gluten-free girl, but she does great with sourdough. So I mostly cook with wheat that I make sure I ferment. Um, once in a while though, if you're wanting something quick or if you're wanting to dust the table with flour, I don't want to use the wheat that hasn't been fermented and so I keep gluten-free on hand for that. Okay, I got some more organic chickens because I want to make broth. <laughs> that really was my primary reason. So. These are about nine or ten dollars a piece for their actual chickens, and then these were nine eighty eighty eight for that three pack of drumsticks. What else do we have back there? Flowers. Okay, I bought. Can you stand a flower up, Elsie, so we can see it? Six forty nine for ten pounds of organic, all purpose flour. This would be like. So I use. I bought six of those to put into our dry storage, and I'm also getting some wheat berries, like I said, that I can. Grind for myself. Oh, I forgot the laundry detergent back here somehow. This was on instant rebate for, how much was it, Bella? She's gonna look for it. It was on an instant rebate, and so, here. Look, there's a cup. It's right here. So it came down to $10.99 for one of those, and they last me a very long time. Very long time. So since it was on instant rebate, I went ahead and bought that. I, I have, I go back and forth with making my own laundry detergent, or if it's on sale, then I will buy that, which is great for this busy time in my life right now. All right, moving on down here, I bought two boxes of raisins. Sadly, these were no longer... Uh, 10.69. 10.69, no longer an instant rebate, which is sad, but mm -hmm. I like to pull those out once in a while for a snack. We'll the sardines the were on instant rebate. I thought they would be a nice storage item as well. Um, and then the another lemon juice. We like to drink lemon juice in our water with a little stevia to sweeten it. Now back here I have a box of the baked beans. Um, these I keep on hand if I have to do like a feed a crowd. <laughs> I will make chili with these with um, canned tomato products, which I'm pretty stocked up on. I actually only bought diced tomatoes. That was the only thing I was out of. I have sauce and I have... Um, tomato paste still and I will probably get some more for storage when I go to Restaurant Depot. Then underneath here I have two, two of bags two of eight packs oh, of the two. garbanzos. Two bags My the kids like to eat those as a snack. Two, two, two packs of blueberries, one pack of corn and two packs of mixed vegetables. Mm -hmm. Which were seven ninety nine. Yep. Very good, Elsie. And you forgot the lettuce. These were under five dollars. They were like four fifty a piece for avocados. We haven't had avocados in a while and I was really missing them. 
Then I, we were, we were almost out of salt, and I like to also keep it in storage. And so I've got two of these. It's a really great price for pink salt. It's my favorite kind Let's of see salt. See if Bella can find that. My favorite I color is remember. pink. It's, it tastes better than white salt because it's pink. Just because it's pink. Yeah. I think for other reasons too. Yeah. I got a three pack of the apple cider vinegar, which is only around seven dollars. Bella, I think these were around like they were under seven dollars, six something for those. And this also was around seven dollars, I believe. Six sixty nine. There you go. Um, we feed this to the animals, so but we go through we that. Have to, we have a big jug, a gallon jug out there because we've been using more because of the cows. Yes, spring. we have been using more, and also coconut oil we use also for the animals as well. And so I wanted to make sure to. Get an extra one of that. Lettuce. The avocados are not ripe yet. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, they're like a sad. Straw. <laughs> they are. I got two of uh, the avocado oil. That's my favorite oil to use for um, and the diced cooking with. Tomatoes diced tomatoes. Six dollars. Six dollars for a case of eight cans. Avocado oil was nineteen dollars. Yeah, it's definitely on the pricier side, but it has a high heat. Um, what do they call that? I can't remember heat point. There's a term for it, that it's actually better than even heating olive oil up. Of course, olive oil is very good to eat in its natural state, but if you're heating it, they say that the avocado oil is even better. And then I have four of these romaine hearts. I was happy to see that they had our favorite romaine hearts. They're $5 a package. We really like salads made with this. And I think that's it. Hello, good morning. We're taking a video. <laughs> Leo came along with we. We are about to head into Restaurant Depot. It has been quite a while since I've been here, but we're going to do some stock up. So we actually have enough groceries at home, but we're gonna do a little bit of stocking up and some things. I had planned to do this in December. If you saw my December grocery haul from Costco, you may have heard me say, I'm going to Restaurant Depot, but I never made it in December. And so here we are. It's the first week of January or probably the second week. Second week, I think it's the 10th. And we are, um, getting ready to head in. So we're gonna, if I can, we're gonna show you a little bit of um, some video walking through and then I will show you what we bought. <laughs> So my restaurant depot haul, here we are. It came to, let's see here, $387.82. So it's not a lot of variety. It's Lydia, what are you doing? I'm trying to bite through the package. That's not a good idea. Um, it's not a lot of variety, but it's large quantities of some certain things. So let's just go through it. I, I got quite a few things from a 25% off meat and dairy rack because they expired in like one to two weeks um, which is fine with me because I can freeze them and um, yeah use them like that okay she just managed to bust into the mushrooms here so we're gonna say we got mushrooms and let's just make those disappear okay there we go now we're a little bit more solid here all right so in the back here these are paper plates. I've, I've got this several months ago and these are great. They're just thin paper plates that we um, like to keep on hand and there are 1200 in there so that's a big box. Okay then these two boxes here these are about $20 each and this is gluten-free pasta. Um, this is the fancy elbows and here we have what is this one? Oh, a rotini. There you go. So those are wonderful. I cook with sourdough um, so that my daughter who has some gluten sensitivities can consume that. But it's nice to have gluten-free pasta on hand so that I'm not always trying to make pasta. Are you t giving the talk here? Are you telling the people what's going on? You're waving your hands around just like mommy. All right, over here, this bacon is one of the things that was on the 25% off. So this was a $43 um, each for these big bacons. These are five pounds of the applewood smoke sliced bacon. But because of the 
um, 25% off. They were about $11 off for each one. So I got two. I'm going to divide these into portions and put them in our freezer. Also, okay, there you have it. Also on the um, discount rack, we had two types of cheese there. This is a melting cheese, a queso, and this one came down to $13 after the 25% off. And this was a mozzarella that came down to um, $10 after the 25% off. So got those two. And then I paid full price for the rest of these. This sharp cheddar was about $14. This is a huge bag, a big five pound bag of shredded Parmesan. This was close to $25. And then another $10 for this big bag of feta crumbles. And again, I will portion these off and you can put cheese in the freezer. Sometimes it changes the consistency a little bit, but if you're using it in recipes and things, um, you really hardly notice. Even the feta, I freeze it just like this and still put it on my salad and it doesn't bother me a bit. Okay, so then we have, I grabbed one each of a few different vegetables to have in the freezer. These all came between about three to five dollars a piece for these bags. <laughs> She's waving her hands around like me. And you're being so nice and quiet. Good job, Lydia. Good job. Okay, what do we have here, James? This was another, this is the last thing that got off that shelf. This was a $30 turkey breast that came to about seven dollars off because of the discount so we will slice this we have a meat slicer that we can slice it thinly and freeze it in portions so that we have have it for a while right Lydia's gonna help with taking that sticker off all right moving on we have this spaghetti sauce which I'm always really impressed with this spaghetti sauce it doesn't have any sugar in it they use extra virgin olive oil um, it's it's a really good thing and it was only let's see if I remember right I think it was around six dollars for these big containers and then this is a splurge Leo really likes clam chowder I have other kids who like it too and so this will make two batches of clam chowder each these were about eleven dollars so that's nice to keep on hand okay shh. let's see how quiet you can be for the rest of the video. Okay, oh look, his mouth is moving, but no sound is coming out. Let's see, can you do that too? All right, we grabbed a bag of carrots. This was only $2 and something for this five pound bag. Um, I've got a shrimp, which I don't even remember how much the shrimp was. I'll, Leo picked that out for me. So we'll have to look on the receipt. James, says it say shrimp on that receipt? Check that out. And then I just got a bag of potatoes. This was only about $3 for this big bag, a little less than $3. Um, bag of onions, which was around five dollars, and then here we have a very big box of butter. This is 36 pounds of butter. We have been making butter from our cream from our cow, however, um, she's we're going to be drying her up soon because she's going to be calving in April, so our milk will stop. And we have been saving some milk aside in the freezer but not the cream. So our butter source will stop. Um, this is something that I will, I stick this entire case in the freezer. It can last a long time. These were only a, just a hair over $2 a pound, $2 for one of these. Um, so it's a good deal. The whole case came to, I think $66 and it's 36 pounds of butter. So figure that out. Um, and I will just stick this whole thing in the freezer so that we never run out of butter. It's always there. Um, if we need it. And then I'll just bring in a few of these at a time to put in the refrigerator. And that's how I thaw them out. Okay, the last few things I got were this sour cream, this big tub of sour cream. My family are big sour cream users. I'm actually wanting to make our own sour cream. because I make so many other things. I make our yogurt and, you know, we do kombucha and sourdough and all those things. But everywhere I've looked, it seems like you have to buy sourdough packets that are kind of a one-time use. You can't re- our sour cream packets right you can't re keep reusing your own culture like you can with things like yogurt and so we're trying to figure that out if anybody has any wisdom in making sour cream share it with me please and then the last two things i got were um these two seasonings which are just over five dollars granulated garlic and some more cumin we probably have this much left in ours but 
I just thought I'd rather have it back there and not have to think about it anymore. Okay, that's it. That's all we've got for today. And I'm going to go go ahead and start dividing these things up and putting them into our freezer storage right away.